They're pulling off after me? Yeah, they kind of were. People like they're trying to catch up to me. They're kind of tailing me. Hey folks, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're out here in beautiful Compton, California. Uh, we're right here off of Alondra in the 710. That's where we're gonna get today's ride started. We got a fully charged Saran. I'm gonna give you guys a as full of an in-depth tour of Compton as I can today. If you've never been here, Compton's a pretty big place. So I'm gonna try and cover as much ground as I can and show you guys some parts of it uh, you'll probably never see anywhere else. Stay tuned, make sure you watch to the end. Also, I'm giving away a Saran if you missed the last video. Go over to Higgsfam.com, enter to win a Saran Ultra B, my personal bike with barely any miles basically brand new best exploration vehicle you could possibly own is a Suron. i'm giving one away first link in the description if you want to check that out anyways beautiful day 12 30 on the dot let's spend the next hour or two checking out compton here we go all right getting our day started out here in compton california lots of alleys we're going to be checking out today lots of everything to be honest love getting out here at prime time noon is the best time to get out here and ride First thing you see anytime you're in Compton, California, Dale's Donuts. This is not the only big donut uh, in LA. You only see this in South Central though. I always wonder why you don't see big donuts, you know, in like the nicer parts of town. And it's closed. I would've got a donut just for the video. But uh, all the big donuts are in South Central. I don't know why that is. But that's one way you always know. If you're uh, <laughs> if you see a big donut and you're a visitor to LA, you're probably not in a nice neighborhood. Just uh. Just a forewarning. Anyways, we're right here on Atlantic Boulevard and Alondra Boulevard. Go left right here, go down this street. Uh, we end up at my house. The high school I went to, the, the skate park that I always used to go to, we got a payphone right here, you guys know what to do. If you don't know, then uh, well, you don't know. A fair bit of traffic out here in the CPT today. We're gonna try and get across as best we can. Sometimes you just gotta make your own rules on a Suron. As you can see, uh, as demonstrated by the immense amount of tire marks in this intersection, this is a popular spot for the takeover. Takeover has been going on down here since I was a kid. More typically, you see it up by Rosecrans. And I mean, nowadays, they kind of do it all over the place. So it's not like there's one particular area where they'll take over an intersection, do donuts. Let's go ahead and get started. We always follow a pretty traditional route when we're going to uh, Compton, California. Big tag right there right on the side of a building now it kind of surprised me to see tagging right there because usually this little area right here around uh alondra and atlantic is always pretty clean but uh looks like that may be changing recently we got an outdoor swap meet right here homie's got the bmx bike on mad wheels that's pretty far i feel swap meet the homie's got the car on jack oh let's check this out real quick this might have something cool for us to see Oh my god, <laughs> that dog kind of scared me. Car here, there's an engine block just chilling right there. Interesting. Anyways, outdoor swap meet. Lots of goods for sale. I don't think we fit right there. Let's go ahead and go this way for now. We got a lot of ground to cover out here. Every time I've come out here, there's still, I'd say about 80% of the entire city of Compton that I've never seen on camera. Most of these streets I've traversed one way or another as a kid, growing up down here. We've taken all these back streets at one point or another on our BMX bike, so there's not much we haven't seen, but there's a lot that I haven't shown you guys on camera. So I'm gonna try and take uh, as many streets as I can to show you the things that we haven't seen. We got our first alley. Why not, right? Alleys in Compton are an interesting thing. I'd say if you compare them to the ones out in South Central, the ones out there are definitely, um, there's a little bit more risk involved when I take them personally because a lot of them, they change dramatically from each time I'll go there to the next time. So out here, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty consistent in uh, the ones that you, sh you could go down. I wouldn't say should because I don't know any uh, sensible person that likes cruising alleys except for myself. But there's ones that I could say that you should go down or you could go down and those that you just absolutely should not. And uh, I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of both today, as a matter of fact. To our right is East Rancho Dominguez Community Center. We're gonna check that out real quick. If we can get across Atlantic Avenue safely. But we got it. Man, this bike's capabilities are just ridiculous, right? <laughs> just kind of ride over anything that's in your way. Right. 
quick little tear in a Saran through uh, maybe the most off-road we'll see out here. Stay tuned. Taco trucks line up here at night. I can't vouch for any of them because I haven't eaten in one of these taco trucks in uh, probably about a decade. <laughs> but we used to come here after the high school parties. This was the strip right here. There's always uh, taco stands. After like 10 p.m., they all really start coming out. Anyways, fun little tear through. Uh, the community center that was nice we we're right here on compton boulevard and atlantic avenue so we're gonna cross right here so we're on the right side of the road as you can see lots more takeover spots <laughs> right here it's uh something you'll be noticing if you keep a, a keen eye as i ride around at pretty much every major intersection you're gonna see these donut tire marks because uh well that's just they just come and do takeovers out here they're not even all from takeovers per se sometimes it's just people out here doing donuts so you know a little mix of both we came out here at the right time though there's really almost no cars on the streets which is awesome for us just trying to get around i'm gonna take a left right here on san Luis street check out some of these neighborhoods there's also some more alleys for us to see we can go left to right right here that's a dead end so i guess that makes the choice pretty simple oh god that water that stagnant water is splashing me in the face god dang it how you doing? This bus is kicking dirt straight in my face. <laughs> See if we can get around it. Oh, nope. Okay. Come on. He's got somewhere to be too. A little bit of gang tagging with an abandoned Fox Body right here. One of my favorite cars, Mustang Fox Body. It's definitely seen better days. But uh, still out here. Very clean walls though, gotta love that. Clean walls, clean garage doors. I remember when we grew up in Northside Long Beach, my dad used to always come out and repaint our garage door because people would tag it up, kind of like this. I was uh, an ongoing theme out where we lived in Long Beach. So out here, when you see garage doors that are not uh, tagged up, it's almost like a sign of respect. Check my back out here. Bunch of big tagging, but otherwise, pretty tame neighborhoods. like someone was doing a car wash. Go ahead and zip through this alley real quick. Not too much to see. Trying to keep the tires dry. <laughs> Taking a long ride around. We're, we're gonna keep going down this alley. Now we're on Rosecrans, uh, made famous by Kendrick Lamar and his song, The Mad City. Out here in Compton. All right. We got a four-way right here. You know, these are all alleys that I've never been down. So let's go ahead and look at this nice artwork right here. This is sick. Big old piece right here. A little bit of tagging over it, which sucks, but I mean, that's kind of looks like. Okay, go figure. More in Compton. This is light compared to some of the parts over closer by the courthouse that we would see. More cool artwork right here. Put by, don't mind me. Are they pulling off after me? Yeah, they kind of work. checking my back to see if I'm getting pursued. People like they're trying to catch up to me. I don't know. There's a burgundy minivan. They're kind of tailing me. Interesting. I guess we'll see if they pop up somewhere else. And it's not like I'm easy to, to miss, but hey man, I'm just out here chilling. <laughs> I think they got the wrong guy if they think I'm someone they're chasing after, but you know, let's go ahead and keep riding around and see. I'm guessing the way that he peeled off after me, 
is that he thought he was somebody that I was somebody he was looking for but then he probably realized I wasn't because he didn't really try and catch up to me that aggressively he was just kind of scoping me out to see who I was anyways we're gonna go ahead and avoid that neighborhood for now let's cut a left <laughs> I'm not coming out here looking for problems I'm just exploring these are my old stomping grounds my old neighborhoods or at least just north of them, about five minutes away so I mean, hey, if homeboy wants to find me, I'm literally out here wearing neon green, so uh, it ain't going to be too hard, but uh, it's not the agenda for us to get uh, cornered, caught slipping, and who knows what, you know? LA's kind of been a wild place lately, so I'm not trying to figure out what he had in store for me. A little bit of dirt out here, so a lot of you guys have been telling me to check out the farmland in Compton. We will check that out one of these days. Now, one of the main reasons I don't go over there uh, is because there's really a whole lot of nothing beyond that and you can't there's not really much to see it's not like i can ride on the farmlands and like go like pet a horse or something you know i can't really get up in there like i think how people would expect me to more gang graffiti on the walls out here another takeover spot i'm keeping my eye out for that burgundy band i, I kind of feel like he's uh he's tailing me in some sense but you know it may not be like i said may have got me confused with somebody else we're not trying to find out anyways we got a little park right here that we're going to tread through so let's go ahead and do that we got some projects over here to the left that i will be checking out as well all right now we're kind of in uh some of the more industrial areas of compton I want to check out this apartment complex on the right, but it looks like it's completely fenced off. There's no real way to get through there, so we're not even going to bother. Homeboy's chilling right there in the middle of the day. Same thing I'm doing, chilling in the middle of the day, except I'm on a bike. Out here moving, folks. All right, we're going to make this right on Patty. Now we're getting in the cut. <laughs> That's one way to put it. We're getting in the cut once we hit this right. Oh, he's looking good, man. He's got the second floor to bark on parking people. <laughs> Pretty rugged road right here. Go ahead and jam through. Long Beach Boulevard. It says it's this way, but it's this way. We're on Patty. This sign got twisted at some point in time. We're on Long Beach Boulevard, which is uh, a pretty good halfway point when you're exploring Compton. Got some bike repair going on. Looks like I could help him. Everything good? You need help? Do you know that little L bridge? Oh, uh, no. You need a Titan? Yeah. Uh, That's all I need. Is just... This one? And then they fall out. Oh, yeah, man. Sorry, dude. I don't have L wrenches. Oh, you have the tool? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. Number two, try this popular method to tackle debt. Start Oh, there we go. Look, look. Let me see. Let me. Because it is cool. Is it, is it tight? It's good? Yeah, but uh, look, try every you can with the tray hard. You can try. Yeah, I don't want to strip it. My pail, my pail, my pail, my pail, my pail, my pail. Okay. Is good enough? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, no worries, man. Okay. Yeah, right safe. Right, folks those are a good deed for the day that was a very difficult task so basically okay that's how I, I, I don't want to go through this all the time i ride around with a backpack with nothing in it i need to at least have the basics right at least a, a six set of allen keys there was i don't know if you could tell on the, on the camera there was this tiny six allen key the same size it goes not here a little bit bigger than this if we had that, it would have been a very easy fix, but instead he had this vice grip. And underneath the Allen bolt was a nut. So I was trying to twist the nut so that it could at least secure the Allen bolt far enough for him to ride somewhere to get it fixed. And luckily we were able to. Uh, so we got that done. 
Shout out to that guy. He's able to ride to at least wherever he's going to go to get it actually fixed. He just got to tighten that one bolt, but his, his bike is able to ride again, so that's good. Anyways, back on schedule. Back out here in Compton off of Long Beach Boulevard. Lots of projects right here. So there's a couple streets we could check out. Oh, a nice jacket just laying on the ground. This is an interesting spot. This is almost a BMX spot. A little bit of tagging right there, east side, something. Um, I try not to read the tagging too much because, uh, you know, I just don't. We got an alley right here on our right. I think we are going to check out. It's nice and wide. We're going to loop back to that. We're actually on a side street. I forgot. We're not on Long Beach Boulevard. We're on, uh, I think it's called Bullis. Big tagging right there. One thing you guys, well, you probably don't notice, but I noticed. It's probably hard to tell from the point of view of the GoPro is that everybody's watching their back out here and they're looking at me. And that's not just because, you know, I look very out of place, which I do. Uh, it's because that's just the normal thing to do out here. You watch your back for just about everything that goes on, especially in these neighborhoods I'm in right now. This is not normal content. We're up in like the, uh, we're like in uh, the very uh, the riskier area, one could say. It's a little bit more turned up out here. And I, too, am watching my back at every car that just seems to be tailing me because I am not crazy. I promise there are multiple cars following me that you guys can't see on camera. <laughs> it's just, this is happening. I don't know if it's because they, uh, I just look like a target. I don't know if it's because uh, it's just the Suron or maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, it's, uh, it's light green, a new game color that I didn't know about. It might be. It might be. I feel like nothing's safe anymore. Anywho, we kind of got sidetracked. Uh, I wanted to check out a different alley, but now we're way up here. And by way up here, I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> I mean, we're next to Long Beach Boulevard, so I always have a very, all I need to do is find an east or west main road, and it's easy for me to figure out where I'm at. But uh, these are neighborhoods that I just have never gone through, so I don't, know, I don't exactly know where to go from here. Got a big house. I always heard this. I still don't know if it's actually true. See, like we have a turquoise house over there that back in the day they painted the houses out here in Compton real loud colors uh, to increase the property value. Now I always I used to say that confidently in my videos, but then someone refuted it and they left this lengthy comment saying why that's not true and that people just wanted to have their house loud colors and that's why you see it so often out here. But anywhere else, you know, not that many people want to buy like a mint green house. So they uh, they painted something neutral for the resale value. Is that actually true? Also, look at this old school Honda. It's pretty sick. Can someone in the comments clarify what the what the deal is with the with the loud colored paint in South Central neighborhoods, specifically Compton? This is where I kind of see it the most. Is out here in the city of Compton. We got some weird streets we're in right now. These are like half alley, half streets. So I'm uh, just taking it slow, taking it nice and easy. Big uh, big graffiti right here. This is uh, an interesting scene we're at. It looks like a farm on the other side of that. I think it's uh, trailers. Interesting is how you see a little bit of graffiti kind of all over the place out here in random walls. Not so much on people's houses though, just on the walls. A little bit more up here on the right. We're actually gonna double back to Long Beach Boulevard right now and, uh, and kind of figure it out from there. I always ultimately like ending up at the, uh, the Compton Courthouse. I feel like that's a good uh, point for me to turn around. Big tagging right here, it literally says Grande. That's a Grande tagging too. Looks like some art was covered up or attempted to be covered up and then painted back over. Go ahead and keep it moving. Don't think I forgot about that burgundy van too. I got my eyes peeled for that. Just in case they're watching me and I uh, I think maybe it's just because I went down that wrong alley and they uh, they didn't like that. They maybe just don't like visitors to their space, which is fine. That's totally fine. I lose our public property, but I get it out here. It's a little bit of a different set of rules that you got to abide by if uh, you want to avoid problems altogether. Now, if you're uh, hunting the conflict, well, you know, hey, <laughs> you gotta search too far to find it down here. Let me tell you that. All right, maneuver in the cat bit. I'm looking for that alley that I passed up on, trying to get down here in a hurry. I wanna say it's 
up here on the left, but I actually don't know. Ultimately, we're just gonna go down Long Beach Boulevard for a second while we figure out what we're doing. We'll go ahead and take this street for now. Why not? Drive through car washes, a staple in South Central, and uh, you know, most places in Southern California as well. But a lot of the things just bring me back to my childhood that I see out here, like those. There was one that I grew up down the street from, and. I remember how excited I was when I got my first car to go wash it myself in the driving car wash on uh, Atlantic Boulevard. Just down the street from where we started, actually. Look at this. Look at this graveyard of cars they got out here. They got a nice little selection. They got the lift Jeep. A limo. Straight up limo. Mercedes, BMW. Interesting. And a random RV with a broken window. Very ominous. We are straight up just lost in the sauce right now. We're out here in some real back streets of Compton that, uh, you know, there's just not much to see back here. So we're going to pop back out to the main street. I think right in front of us is Compton Boulevard, I believe. So that's uh, where we're going to go from here. The road closed. I don't know if we'll actually be able to cross right here. I think we can. If not, there's an alley we could take. Cool. We'll take the alley. We'll never say no to an alley. We're on Rosecrans. I thought we were on Compton. We're on Rosecrans. We're going to cross right here. Hit this next alley. So we'll take Rosecrans a little bit further. Really aggressive graffiti right here. That's about all I can say about this little alley. Not much else to see. Go ahead and keep pushing up. All right, we are at the bridge the bridge this bridge goes over the railroad in compton so this is a pretty good halfway point for us i'd say I'm actually gonna pop up here so we can cross this oh you guys see what i see that is a stray pit bull yeah we're just uh we're not going that way as <laughs> simple as that okay that that's that's that <laughs> that is that folks nothing more nonetheless maybe friendly may not be we're not gonna find out today out here in the residential streets, there's no parking laws on these side streets, so you kind of just rip down them. We're gonna keep going south though, we're gonna go back down. Ultimately, we gotta end up back on Alondra, so that's where we're going, kind of, but not really directly there yet. Look at this Jeep, oh my goodness. Wait, this thing is fire. <laughs> it's just street park too. Look at this utter madness. Rubicon, there's some big wheels, that thing's gangster. We got a straight kitty, straight kitty in the cut. Breathe the real. Out here, folks, out here in the trenches. Back on Palmer. And just like that, we are at the Compton Skate Park and the courthouse. Simple. Take a quick stride right here before we overstay our welcome. All right, well, there's that. <laughs> I always try to make a quick stop through there when I come out to Compton, and uh, that's about all there is to do there. Very street oriented skate park, so hard to really get down any further than that. From here, we're gonna make a right, go check out the Compton Courthouse, and uh, keep it going from there. That truck honked. I don't know who. Hopefully, not me. Keep cutting straight. We're gonna end up at the Compton Courthouse, check that out real quick, and uh, see what's happening. I would say this is like the more chill part of Compton, mainly because it's by the courthouse. Always, uh, some level of deputies around just chilling and again this is la so you guys know all crime is legal right <laughs> there's no laws against crime as far as i know seems like a lawless town lately but it's a little bit more chill over here anyways just jamming through we're gonna get after we have to get across another gigantic set of train tracks this is the blue line i talk about here and there Kind of tricky to get around right here. I think this courthouse is still closed. I saw it in the news a little while ago. There was some flooding at the Compton Courthouse and it's closed. I don't know if that's accurate. I guess we'll figure it out right now when we go straight through it.
Jeez. <laughs> I just be beating the heck out of this bike, man. <laughs> just straight up no remorse. Straight up terrorizing it. Ooh, a little bass right there. Yeah, looks like the courthouse is open. Much to the dismay of uh, people who probably don't want to be here. What's that? Oh, it's called a Suron. How much was it? Uh, 2000. 2000? Yeah, you gotta order them from China. Yeah, it's called this right here, Suron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I gotta get consistent with the price that I tell people this bike is. I always say it's something else. Let's go ahead and check out this little street right here. <clears throat> Courthouse is always fun to strike through real quick. Nice little uh, chill atmosphere right there. I mean, as chill as you get out here. Oh, I got the old school Suburban. I'm such a fan of that body style. I think it's clean. You know, Compton is like, uh, it's hard to, for me to judge what it's like riding through Compton compared to my South Central ride. It's a little bit more, it's a little more, uh, I don't know how really to describe it. It's kind of like you really do, there's a little bit more of an element of having to watch it back out here, just a tad bit. It's a little bit more lawless feeling, I'd say that, you know, it feels a little bit more like uh, if someone was planning something on you, if they're tailing you and they catch you slipping, you know, well, you're screwed. You know, I hope you're prepared to give up whatever they want because uh, there ain't much in the way of them taking it out here. Yeah, it could get a little, it could get tricky. That's the best way I can put it. I mean, I'm sure that's what half of people think about me pulling up. When I'm on the Suron, I'm just like shredding up to them. They're like, who the hell is pulling up on me? A little bit of off-road action right here. <laughs> Big dog right there. This might be the most rugged alley we've seen all day. Love it. Kind of chilling. I think I'm also coming into a dead end. That's a big old uh, LA Cologne mural right there. We do have chickens. That's a sign of when you're in the hood. You will see chickens. Peaceful too. Nice chickens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> Never been to Compton? Well... Now you've seen a little bit more than you probably ever will, even on your own. I do know the routes out here, so if any time things got suspicious or feeling weird, I know how to get out of there ASAP. Like if you saw me earlier when I stopped, when I thought I was getting followed by the van, uh, I was determining which route I would take if I was actually being pursued. That's pretty much what was going on there. So I was putting together in my head like, all right, there's a couple ways I can go from right here if there is a problem, but it turned out to be nothing. I'm gonna straight down this for a hot second. Made famous by Kendrick Lamar. And some music video, I forgot which one he put this in, but uh, this little route runs on that riverbed. This riverbed you probably also know from the Terminator Talk. Anyway, we just open it up right here. There's absolutely nothing in our way between here and the next major street, which I'm pretty sure is going to bring us back to Alondra, if I'm not mistaken. So it's kind of like a shortcut instead of going through some of the back routes. What we got right here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Cut camera, cut camera. That's this side. I wonder if we can get on this side. There's like a dirt path there. It's a little bit sketchier, but... I think it might be a little bit more interesting to look at. I think we can get on it right here, if I'm not mistaken. Check it out just for a hot second. This one's paved too. This is a horse pass, so gotta watch out for the uh, enormous amount of horse poop. As you can see, it's uh, right here. I'm gonna check it out for a hot second though. Ugh. Tons of horse crap, and it's very uh, unpaved. Looks like there's actually a bunch of thick mud right here, which I just don't feel like getting through. Oh god, I, dude, I tried to dodge a horse poop and uh, 
just rode it right through it. Yeah, let's keep going. Why not? Screw it. Not like I have anywhere to be. Oh, it's such thick mud right there. Woo! Did not see that. Came up quicker than I thought. I actually don't know if this exit's up ahead. May have to turn around. Oh, dude, Suron, just wow. Able to handle just about anything you throw at it, right? On road, off road. Bike is a jack of all trades. And this is real thick mud right here. Oh, look, we can get around it, kind of. Still rode through a bunch of mud. It's all good. Things you see in Compton, you know? Oh. There's a guy up ahead. Oh my god, I'm barely avoiding the, the thick dirt. I ain't gonna lie, I really don't have to double back, so I hope there's a way out up ahead. Oh, so much poop, so much poop. Okay, well, we just did right around him. I wasn't really trying to disturb him either way. I would love to have a little bit more conversation out here, but at the same time, oh, thank God for that cone. Let's you know if you're zipping a little too quick, you gotta, uh, you gotta slow it down. Oh, we got an emergency exit. I love that. This was recently on fire. Hey. Looks like he was working on something. Oh, we are. Uh, we ain't gonna do that. Oh man, my forearms are pumped after that. That was a nice little bit of uh, semi off roading on the fur on. Homeboys wearing red. Well, we are in Compton, folks. All right, let's start making our way up out of here, man. That was a nice ride, though. Definitely saw a lot. What street are we on? More Compton Boulevard. All right, this works. All right, we got some alleys up here that we, we just absolutely have to check out. There's no way we can leave town without seeing them. It just wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right to not do the whole tour of the CPT. Now, we're right on the same alley system where homeboy was kind of tracking us, but we're much further down, so keep an eye out for a burgundy minivan. <laughs> that back there is crazy. Hold on, wait. Let's take this let's take this in for a second. Hopefully we don't have a dog pulling up on us. We got a little bit of your feet right here. Look at that backyard. That's a big dog right there. You guys see that? Probably living out of the Oh, okay, that's the call. Hey, woke up. He woke the other big dogs up. Oh, look, here they come. Oh, they're cute, though. Anyways, just a little bit more random graffiti. Turn around is what that wall said. Huh. Yeah, maybe I should. Will I? Nah. Let's keep going. So there's a courthouse in the background over there, just in case you guys need some perspective on where we were. That just goes to show you, even in the so-called, uh, you know, chill area out here. It's still pretty wild. It is what it is, you know. Let's go ahead and keep on going. I would like to give a quick tour of these neighborhoods too. We're gonna check out this alley. We have, we have to pick alley or neighborhoods. There's so much to see in both. Also, I can't say that word neighborhoods too loud. If you know, you know. You can literally cannot say that word out here because uh, it means something else than what most people might think it means. looking at some of the tags but most of it is legible old there's a UPS truck coming dead at me so let's go ahead and get out of his way <laughs> dude that thing came around the block so hot I was like damn things look like Thomas the train coming at me all right so there's that we don't have another alley to continue going down but we will check out some of the neighborhoods right here just so you can get a feel for the uh for the area if that's what you're looking for you go ahead and make this right nice truck right there i mean these are nice homes it's unfortunate that uh some people's properties like so are tagged on i'm sure if they clean that up it'd probably get tagged up right again a lot of these were out here last time i came out here as well so uh you know that just is what it is in this part of town back at the courthouse right in front of us we're gonna make a left right here across Compton Boulevard we got to make it back down to Alondra but we're gonna take Compton 
all the way to Atlantic and then we're gonna make a right. That's kind of our route right now. Watch out for trains right here. If I got uh, caught on the train tracks right here, I'd kind of just be stuck, <laughs> to be honest. Trains come up quick before you know it. All right, let's keep going. This plaza is where I usually start my rides at, like this uh, this shopping area. It's very nice and very inconspicuous parking, but today I was a little more anxious. I hopped off the freeway and just got straight into it. Heck of a journey so far. This is uh, one of the longer Compton rides I've done. It starts to wear on you after a little bit. You're, you get so, like you have to watch back out. You just have to, you have to, you absolutely must. Uh, even if there is most likely no threat, you just have to always keep an eye out because you know, they prey on weakness out here. If they catch you slipping, they're gonna figure it out. If you look a little too uh, unaware of what's going on, they're gonna catch on. And uh, that's how they will, that's how they'll get you. <laughs> I know it sounds paranoid, but it is 100% facts. Trust me, I know. I used to live out here, we're always down the way. North side Long Beach is about five minutes from Compton, so we would ride through here. We ride down Compton Boulevard all the time to go to the skate park out here. So that's how uh, we got familiar with all these little back streets when we were young. I'm talking about like 12, 13, 14. I'd be out riding my bike through here alone. And sometimes my friends, my buddy's Dominique, Dominic. Uh, oh, there's no way out right here. Let's go ahead and keep going this way. It's actually a huge field right there. With a really cool artwork of Tupac we're gonna look at. Backing that thing up. Look at that, it's nice. <laughs> That's a very clean, detailed artwork of the legendary Tupac. Oh. Not much else right here, so we're gonna go ahead and keep it moving. It is an open field. Some cool artwork. Somebody's got a boat back there. Very nice. Oh, this is cool. This, this is the type of art style I love. That's cool. Uh, yeah, good stuff right here. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Last time I was right here, uh, some cat pressed me. Y'all remember right there in that corner? He was like, hey, how much is that? What is that? He's trying to figure out all types of stuff about my bike. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his cane on in the back. Love it. I'm going to check out this DMX spot. We used to always ride this on our way back home. The ledge is still here. It's still slick, too. It's funny how to this day, this is still a spot. Doesn't even look like they ever tried to cap it. Really nice ledge. This used to be a spot right here, too. And not quite as nice, but still good. All right, let's start tearing, folks. We got a nice ride in. Let's not overstay our welcome out here in beautiful Compton, California. Stay out here long enough, something wild will happen. That's a guarantee. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. I was just came out here to have a nice ride. And that's it. I'm gonna hit this back street right in front of us in Long Beach Boulevard, so. I know exactly how to get to where I gotta go from here. We're gonna try and see if there's anything worth checking out on the way back. Mainly just back streets, neighborhoods. We're trying to avoid the main streets for now because uh, rush hour is about to begin. And the where you don't want to be during the rush hour in Compton is on a main street. Simple as that. I'm gonna cut across Long Beach Boulevard right here. Trying to keep it pushing. This is the exact same route we just took where we helped that guy for those trying to keep track. I would love to have like some type of little GPS. What the? F what? Okay. You know what? I can't even be mad when someone does some crazy stuff on the road because I am a complete idiot riding around on this. But uh, I almost went face first into the back of that SUV, for sure. Whew, I got the adrenaline flowing. Oh man, good thing I'm always paying attention, at least somewhat. But uh, last thing you expect is for a car to be flying in reverse in the middle of the street. <laughs> I just, I can't make it up, folks. Every time I come out here, I talk about how the biggest danger to you is not the people, it's the cars. It is the cars. The cars are the threat to your existence, not the people who are probably, you know, a little suspicious of what you're doing. But uh, for the most part, it is the, uh, it's the vehicles. Yeah, it's the vehicles. Not quite as common, but uh, yeah, you see, uh, you know, the locals. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, folks. Another day out here. Oh, we got one alley uh, that looks just does look worth checking out. Look at this clean Subaru. Wow, dude, immaculate, just sick. That's like straight out of GTA. I do want to check out this alley right here. It looks kind of, it looks a little risky, but I think we'll be fine. A little bit of uh, a greeting right there on the front. I'm gonna cut around this SUV to the left. I'm gonna keep on wrapping around. 
We didn't get that much alley cruising in, so I'm trying to catch up on it right here. This goes down one more lane too. I think we're gonna we're gonna take it. I can't tell if the dead ends up ahead though. That is uh, something I'm not trying to get involved in. Is a dead end alley out here in these parts. Let me tell you, I'm good on that. Got some blondes right here. Other than that, not much to see right here. So. Let's get back on track, get this right. And then, where are we? Let's see where we're at. We're on Atlantic. Okay, we're on Atlantic and Compton. That's perfect. So from here, I think we're just going to cut up to Atlantic. Man, what a day, folks. Holy, we really got into it today. We uh, almost overstayed our welcome. Let me put it that way. There are certain things that happened today that I had to cut out of the video. Um... And that's just all I could say about those things. That's it. But all together, good ride. Compton is just so much more hectic than, uh, than, it, than it appears to be. A lot of people say, you know, it's cleaned up. It's a nicer place to be. I personally, it's, it's just, man, I don't know. It's just wild out here, man. It's just, uh, it is still so active. It is so active. Is it better than it used to be in the 90s? I mean, yeah, probably. I was born in 93, so I can't speak for that. Is it better than it was in the 2000s? Yeah, that's fair to say. You know, it's definitely fair to say that it's a little bit better than it was in the 2000s. But altogether, it's just still just buck wild out here, man. You go down the wrong street, you uh, look at the wrong person the wrong way, you could be involved in a problem real quick. Just saying. Simple as that. With all that said, we didn't get involved in any problems today, so that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. We are going to go ahead and keep it that way and start getting the heck up on out of here. We're back at the big old donut up here on the left. Life comes at you fast out here, man. You gotta be ready to rock and roll at any given moment. We've got the cut through. A little bit more tagging on all these back streets. Well, we did about as full of a Compton route as we possibly could have got in today. We covered as much ground as I possibly could have in one day. We kind of ended up doubling back over a lot of areas. Uh, it's hard to figure out where is a good new area to go when I'm out here sometimes just because, you know, when you've been to a place so many times, your brain kind of automatically, like it autopilots to certain places, right? So that's sort of what happened today. Uh, still a fun route. Remember hitspam.com if you want to win the Suron that I am giving away until April 15th. You can do that. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. As always, until next time, stay safe. Peace out.